This is kind of an all levels practice. So just kind of doing whatever you feel like works for your body. Um, if you haven't done yoga in a little bit, just giving yourself a little bit of um, time and patience to, um, you know, let your body kind of do what feels right for it. So we'll just start in a comfortable seated position. Um, you can sit on your, on your legs, you can sit cross-legged, doesn't really matter, whatever kind of feels good for your body. And then we'll take a nice deep breath in, raise one or both arms up towards the ceiling, just kind of think about lengthening both sides of the torso, kind of lifting the chin up towards the ceiling, and then do a big exhale, let your arms kind of float down. And then we'll do that one more time, taking a nice deep breath in, raising one or both arms up, really thinking about appreciating some length into the spine and the trunk and then nice big exhale release your arms down and just kind of allow your hands to relax on your lap palms down for more of a grounding position palms up for more of a receiving position depending on how you feel today and you can either take your eyes and close them or just bring your gaze down towards the floor and just take a few moments of quiet observation. So this is important as we come into the space that we're in, as we come into our afternoon practice, just to allow us to kind of connect and check in with ourselves. Just kind of seeing what thoughts you're having, kind of noticing how your body feels as you come to your mat this afternoon. And then I invite you to take a couple of cleansing breaths. So you'll inhale deeply through the nose and then take a big heavy sigh through the mouth. And when you do that, think about letting go of anything that isn't serving you well today. So breathing in again through the nose, big heavy sigh through the mouth. This can be releasing any physical tension or discomfort that you feel, as well as any emotions that maybe are just uh, not serving you well today. And just begin to deepen your breath. If it works for you to place one hand over your low belly, you can do that, kind of breathing in and out into that belly hand. Otherwise, just begin to shift your breath low into the belly, inhaling and exhaling a little bit slower, taking a little bit more time to breathe. And each time you inhale, think about drawing in a sense of maybe a positive emotion that maybe you feel like you're in need of today. And then when you exhale, think about letting go of something that's either worrying you or maybe not feeling well in your body today. Try to think about maybe lengthening a little bit of each part of the breath cycle. So making your inhale slightly longer as you breathe into the low belly, and then making your exhale at least match the length of your inhale. Think about relaxing your face, softening across your forehead. Letting go of tension around the jaw especially. So letting your lips separate, your teeth separate slightly. Just allowing your arms to be heavy, supported by your legs or the floor. And just continue to inhale and exhale into the low belly. As you're breathing in that way, take a moment to set an intention or a dedication for your practice today. So something you kind of like to focus your practice around could be on something as meaningful as self-care. You may wish to dedicate your practice to someone or maybe a deeper meaning or purpose, whatever that is, bringing that into your heart, taking a couple of breaths into it. And then we'll just allow the hands to relax on either side of the legs. Breathing in again, allow your, the top of your head to reach up towards the sky. And then on your exhale, drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Maybe extend out through your left hand if that feels good, but just start to begin and find some length into the side of your neck. And then as you kind of allow your head to just relax down towards your shoulder, you might drop your chin 
and kind of gaze down towards that right shoulder, or you might tip your chin up towards the ceiling. And as you slowly move between those two points, maybe pause anywhere where you feel a little bit restricted in the neck. See if you can send a couple of breaths to that area. And then when you feel ready, allowing your chin to fall down towards your chest, feeling some length in the back of the neck. And then eventually bringing your left ear towards your left shoulder and extending out through your right fingertips. So just letting the weight of your head lengthen that side of your neck, tipping the chin down towards your left shoulder if that feels good for you, or up towards the ceiling holding or moving slowly between those two points, letting go of any tension that you feel in the neck. And then slowly bring your head back up to center. Walk your hands back behind you. So you're gonna kind of turn your fingers away from your sacrum or your pelvis. You'll pull the shoulder blades together, lift the chin up and then lift your heart up so you're opening up through that front body bringing yourself out of that rounded shoulder posture opening up across the chest the base of the throat when you're ready take another inhale and then as you exhale walk your hands forward let your back round and come into a forward bend so this can be however far it feels good for you so if you're more restricted through the hips and the low back, you might not be able to come that far forward and that's fine. So just kind of do what feels right for your body. As you come forward, if it works for you, walk your hands over to the right side. So you're kind of beginning to lengthen the left side of your torso. Once again, just a letting, your, letting your head and neck relax. Walking your hands back through the center and then moving them over towards the left side softening the head and neck, kind of breathing into that back right side. Good pausing and breathing, softening the back of the neck. And then as you inhale, come back to that forward bend, maybe softening further into it if that works for you, slowly drawing the navel into the spine, taking a couple of nice low belly breaths, letting any tension release from the low back. And when you feel ready, start to inhale and walk your hands back up. We'll take another exhale to release any tension across the neck, the tops of the shoulders, and then we'll breathe in the right arm up. As we exhale, we'll take an easy side stretch. And so from here, you can look down or up. You can rotate your wrist if that feels good. Just kind of lengthening out that side body again only going as far as you feel comfortable. Use your inhale to sweep your trunk back up and then exhale the arm down. Once again, think about lengthening the spine. So sitting up tall, inhale to reach the left arm up this time, lengthening that whole entire side body, and then using your exhale to tip to the right. So it might feel good to look down, it might feel good to look up. I'm just gonna take a few breaths into that left side body. So everything in yoga is an invitation. So you do what feels good for your body today. Nice deep breath in, come all the way back up to center. This time raise both arms up. As you exhale, draw your chest open. So pulling your elbows towards your sides, shoulder blades together, chin lifts. And then inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Exhale, release your arms down. If it's available to you, we'll make our way over into hands and knees and just start to warm the spine a little bit more. So we'll come into a tabletop position first. Take the tops of the feet flat, bring the knees underneath the hips and the hands underneath the shoulders, really spreading your fingers nice and wide. So as you come into tabletop, you can start just acclimating here by shifting your weight front to back. So especially if you feel restricted or you haven't done yoga for a little bit, just kind of coming into your body a little bit here. And then when you feel ready, we'll start to cycle into cat and cow. So on an inhale, you'll drop your belly, look forward, tailbone up, coming into cow pose. And then as you exhale, you'll press away, rounding the back, drawing the navel in, 
coming into cat. So when we start to flow and breathe together, we're going to go at the pace of our own breath. So you might be moving faster or slower than me, and that's completely fine. So using your inhale to come to cow, and using your exhale to come to cat. And then as you're moving into these poses, if it feels good, you can shift your hips from side to side. You can hold either of those poses for a little bit longer. Just kind of do what feels good for your body. So we'll do this for about five or six more breath cycles. Inhaling to cow, exhaling to cat. And if it gets challenging to continue kind of coordinating your movement and breath, just do your best to keep moving. Letting go of any tension here at the tops of the shoulders. Only moving as far as you feel comfortable, so modifying your range of motion if you need to for any specific ailments that you're dealing with. And then on your next exhale, round through cat and then drop all the way back to extended child's pose. So you're going to reach your arms up nice and wide, soften your forehead either to stacked hands or to your mat, and drop your hips back towards your heels. So if it doesn't feel good to do that, you can keep your hips lifted, stack your hands, and come into puppy pose. So this would be a good modification if you're not able to bend your knees and your hips as much. And like I said, everything is an option. So nothing you have to do today. Take another cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Good. When you're ready, we'll come back up to tabletop and then go ahead and step your right foot forward and come into low lunge and we'll straddle, we'll keep our hands straddling that front foot. So from here, left hand will stay on the mat. On an inhale, we'll reach the right arm up, looking at it with our eyes, twisting to the right. Pausing and breathing. If you need a little extra padding under that back kneecap, you can also Use a towel under your kneecap or flip the long edge of your mat. Good. As you exhale, slowly release that hand down. And just kind of shift your weight front to back a little bit, opening up into the hips, warming up into the hamstrings a little bit. Just go as far as you feel comfortable. And then we'll walk or sweep the arms up. Tilt the tailbone under. Raise the arms up. Drop the shoulders down. So now just bringing shoulders over the hips. So here we're going to get a little stretch through that hip flexor. So especially if you are a sitter during the day or you feel like maybe you've sat more than you needed to today, think about just pressing the front of that left hip forward, feeling a little bit of length into that front of the hip. If you don't like your arms up, you can rest them on your front leg. This time we'll drop the right arm down, reach the left arm up and over. So you're kind of pressing the left hip forward, but then also lengthening on the side of the hip. Good, nice deep breath in, bring those arms all the way up. As you exhale, frame the foot with your hands and step back to tabletop. Couple of cycles of cat and cow, inhaling to cow, exhaling to cat. We'll do that one more time, inhaling to cow, Exhaling to cat. Come back to that neutral spine in tabletop. Breathing in. As you exhale, step the left foot forward into that low lunge position. And then this time we'll keep the right hand planted. Inhale the left arm up, twisting your, your chest to the left. And the gaze is going to be up towards that left hand. Just getting our spine to rotate a little bit. We're only going as far as you feel comfortable. Spreading the toes nice and wide, really finding some grounding through that left foot. As you exhale, release the hand down. Go ahead and shift your weight front to back again, just kind of beginning to come into the hips a little bit more, lengthening the hamstrings, doing what works for your body today. You may notice a difference side to side in your flexibility 
totally normal to have one side maybe slightly more flexible than the other. Just a noticing and appreciating the difference there. Go ahead and walk your hands up that front thigh. One or both arms reaches up. Press the front of the right hip forward. Lift your gaze as you stack the shoulders over the hips. So here lengthening through that right hip flexor as well as, well as your quad. So that's that front of the thigh muscle. Breathing in, letting the shoulders fall down away from your ears. Good. On your next exhale, let the left arm drop down. Reach the right arm up and over. Continuing to breathe into the side stretch. Good. Nice deep breath in. Bring both arms all the way up to center. And as you exhale, frame the foot with your hands. This time I invite you to curl your back toes under and press back to down dog. So down dog is going to be that triangle shape that we make with our bodies to the mat. To check our spacing here, we're going to shift our shoulders over our hands and come into plank. So that's that top of the push-up hold. And then when you exhale and send your sit bones up and back, that's where your hands and feet should be. So that's a good checkpoint. Fingers are spread nice and wide. When you first come into down dog, go ahead and just paddle out your feet a little bit. So you should feel some length in the legs. If you're not into down dog where it doesn't feel good, you can always come back to child's pose or even tabletop when we do down dog. So that's always a choice. Try to keep your head and neck lined up with your spine. So if you find yourself looking way back at your knees, try to bring your gaze more towards the top half of your mat. Good. And allowing your sit bones to reach up and back, your heels to melt down, creating length both in the spine and the legs. As you inhale, shift your shoulders over your hands and come to plank. Belly draws in, working towards your body being parallel to the mat. Perfectly fine to set your knees down. Good. As you exhale, reach the sit bones up and back. Good. One more time. Use your inhale to come to plank. We're going to do a little side arm balance today. So you can drop your knees to the mat if you'd like. Otherwise, we're going to rotate over to our right hand, keeping our left side of the hip up towards the ceiling. So opening your chest to the left wall, keeping shoulder over hand alignment here. So if this is a lot for your wrist, you can also come down to your forearms, your forearm. So working that outer hip side body strength as you lift the left side of your hip up towards the ceiling, perfectly fine again to set that bottom knee down. Good, continuing to breathe. And then use your exhale to press back down dog or child's pose. Take a couple of breaths. And we'll repeat that side arm balance on side two. So using your inhale, shift forward to plank. As you exhale, rotate over to your left side, reaching the right fingertips up towards the ceiling, right side of your hip lifts, lifts up. Choose any of those modifications that I gave you, depending on how your body feels today. Continuing to breathe. And then use your exhale to come back to plank and exhale to down dog. Good, breathe in child's pose or tabletop if you'd like. Notice how you feel. And then when you feel ready, looking forward towards your hands, we're gonna walk the feet all the way up towards our hands and take a generous forward fold at the top of our mat. So we're allowing the back to round here, bending our knees generously and just let your body sway a little bit from side to side. So that's gonna allow you to have a little bit of length into the back body. Bending your knees as much as you need to. The goal is trying to get your chest down towards your thighs, but any variation of that is perfectly fine. Inhale, lift up to a flat back. So you're going to come up halfway, belly is in. We'll take airplane arms. So you're going to pull the arms 
back, kind of palms towards the floor, shoulder blades draw in and down. So once again, kind of opening up the chest and shoulders, but activating that back body. And then big exhale, forward fold, generously round. Good, ground down through those feet. So maybe picking the toes up, spreading them nice and wide. Do that one more time. Inhale, lift up to a flat back. And then take airplane arms, palms towards the floor, pull the shoulder blades together. Belly draws in, noticing lots of activation through the shoulder blades. So make your mid back muscles do this work and your low back as well, a little bit, the muscles around your low back, but soften the tops of the shoulders and the lower part of your neck. Good, big exhale, forward fold. This time as you inhale, press into the feet, take your time, come all the way up, Raise your arms up over your head, like a little back bend. As you exhale, press the hands to heart center. Good, we'll come into mountain pose. So mountain pose, you're gonna be about a fist distance apart towards the top of your mat, spreading your toes nice and wide, setting them down. I want you to notice how you're balancing or how your weight is distributed as you come to standing, okay? So what you want to notice is weight distribution on all four corners of each foot. Try to have your weight evenly distributed. Chest is lifted, palms are forward, belly is in. Take a nice deep breath and sweep your arms up. Take a little back bend. As you exhale, forward fold, let your back round. Inhale to a flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press into your feet. Bring your arms all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. This is our half sun salutation. Again, inhale, reaching up. Little back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, toe heel your feet to touch. We're gonna to move through sun salutation B today. So on an inhale, sink your hips back and come into chair pose. So as you do this, you're gonna have your, your hip hinge here your weight is going to be more back towards your heels. Your hands can be at heart center, or you can reach them up towards the ceiling. But belly is in, tailbone tucks under, so you have lots of activation around your core center. Good, soften the tops of the shoulders, and then big exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands this time, step back to plank pose. Good, set your knees down on the mat, lower halfway chaturanga low push up. So elbows tucked in at your sides. Good, release all the way to your tummy. Inhale, lift your chest up, baby cobra. And then exhale your way to down dog. Sit bones lift up and back. Looking forward, step your right foot through, pivot your back heel down and come up to warrior one. Warrior one, our hips and our shoulders will stay facing the top edge of our mat. Soft tops of the shoulders, gaze is upward. Once again, feeling that length through the left hip flexor. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank. Take a breath from your toes or your knees, hug your elbows in lower halfway, low push up. Inhale, baby cobra, lifting your chest up. Exhale, down dog. Hips are high. Sit bones lift up and back. Looking forward, step your left foot through. Pivot your back heel down. Warrior one. Rise. So your back foot is turned out about 45 degrees, but still letting your hips face the center or face the, the top edge of your mat. Soft tops of the shoulders, lifting your gaze. Good, big exhale, hands to the mat, find plank. From your toes or your knees, tummy is in, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra, 
cobra or up dog if you feel ready. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Good, take a cleansing breath. Looking forward, walk or step to the top of your mat. Breathe into a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. So sink your hips back. Good, arms float upward to heart center. Exhale, mountain pose. Good, we'll run through that again. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, any back bend of your choice. Exhale, down dog. Good, lifting the sit bones up and back, grounding through your hands and feet. Looking forward, step your right foot through. Warrior one. Walk or sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank. Inhale, exhale, low push up. Inhale, back bend of your choice. Exhale, down dog. Fingers are spread nice and wide. You're grounding through your hands, looking forward, left foot steps through. Pivot that back heel down, warrior one. Good, exhale, hands to the mat. Plank, inhale, tummy tight, exhale, chaturanga, low push up, inhale, any back bend. So perfectly fine to come to low cobra here or baby cobra, lifting the heart up, tops of the feet are flat, and then exhale, down dog, if you need a breather, child's pose or tabletop. Reconnect with that intention that you set for the, your practice today. Noticing how you feel, get a little movement here in your body. Letting go of any judgments or expectations. I'm just kind of doing what feels good for your body today. Looking forward, walk or step when you're ready towards the top of your mat, breathe into a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, mountain pose. Good, we'll do one more, uh, a little bit of chair with some rotation next. So we'll inhale to chair. We'll keep the hands at heart center. Couple of choices here. So if it doesn't work for you to have more of a deep chair, that's totally fine, don't worry about it. Just hip hinge, bend at your hips and knees. On your exhale, we're gonna take a twist to the left. So this can look like a wide arm twist to the left, just like this, kind of letting this hand come on the outside of your leg. If you want to move into a deeper twist, you can take your elbow and hook it on the outside of your leg. The goal is to keep your chest lifted as you turn and try to keep your knees in a line. So you'll find that that right leg wants to really jet out in front of your left. Tummy is tight, lots of choices for twisting. Feeling some heat in the legs here. Continuing to breathe. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Kind of pedal out those feet a little bit. Maybe sway the upper body to give yourself a breather. We'll do that one more time. So letting your fingertips dangle towards the floor. Inhale to chair. Hands come to heart center. And then exhale, we'll twist to the right or the second side, whatever side you haven't done, either wide arms or prayer twist. Try to keep your knees in a line, turning your heart towards that side wall. Good, pause and breathe. Relax your face. As you exhale, forward fold. Good, press into your feet, come all the way up to stand. Raise your arms up over your head, and then exhale, hands to heart center. 
Good. As you inhale, reach your arms up. We're going to take a steeple grip over the head. So you're going to bring your hands to touch. Interlace all your fingers, but your pointer finger and your thumb. Reach up through your fingers. And then as you exhale, we're going to tip to the left. So once again, side body stretch. Really grounding down through that right foot. Take a breath in, lift back up to center, really lengthening both sides of the torso. And then as you exhale, tipping to the right, grounding down through your left foot. Good, coming back to center, breathing in, big exhale, release the breath all the way down. Go ahead and take a seat in the middle part of your mat. Just with your feet, um, soles of the feet on the floor. We're gonna engage the belly a little bit here. So soles of the feet are on the floor. We're gonna take a modified boat pose today. So we'll lift the chest up. So when we start, you can bring your hands to your shins here. Shoulders are gonna be over your hips, feet are on the floor. I want you to recline, come to a reclining sit position. So your shoulders are gonna be behind your hips, but you're not gonna let your back give out. So spine is nice and long, let your shoulders come back, and you should feel some en engagement through the abdominal muscles. So this could, be, this could be your variation of boat pose. If you wanna make it more challenging, you can float both arms up, you can lift a leg, you can lift both legs, or you can straighten your knees. The key with whatever you're doing is that you try not to let your back collapse. So you're gonna lift your chest up the whole time as you hold that reclined sit position. If you need a break, just take one. Pause and breathe, keep lifting that chest up. Relax in your face. And then as you exhale, slowly release. Take a nice deep breath in, lengthen up. And then big exhale, take your time, come all the way to your back. Letting your abdominal muscles do a little bit of work there to lower you down. Go ahead and take a full body stretch. So once you're on the floor, stretch your legs all the way out. Reach your arms above your head. Get as long as you can on your mat. And just take a cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And then step your feet in one at a time. So bring your arms maybe to goalpost arms. So if you're able to get the backs of your arms to the floor without any discomfort through the shoulders, you can do that. You can also just kind of bring them a little bit lower down if you do have shoulder issues. We're gonna just start to windshield wiper the legs from side to side. So just going as far as you feel comfortable, you'll bring the knees to one side and then bring them to the other side. You can go as far as you want. So opening into the hips, stretching out through the trunk a little bit, releasing the low back. And after you've kind of gone back and forth a few times, maybe pause with your legs to one side and then turn and look opposite your knees. So if your knees are to the right, turn and look to the left. Might be a good time to close your eyes if you feel comfortable. Couple of nice deep breaths. Just kind of notice how you're feeling. So we're starting to slow down a little bit, preparing for our final relaxation. Coming with the knees back up to center, turning your gaze back towards the ceiling. On your exhale, switch sides. So knees fall to the opposite side, head opposite the knees. Couple of nice deep cleansing breaths. And slowly bringing your gaze and your knees back to the center. Either drawing one leg in at a time or both legs in. Go ahead and give yourself a hug, pulling the knees in, just kind of slowly rocking yourself from side to side, massaging out that low back. And then when you're ready, we'll make our way into our final relaxation. So coming into what we call Shavasana or corpse pose, your legs will be stretched out 
just gonna let your feet fall out to the sides of your mat. You'll take your arms down at your side, walk the shoulder blades underneath you, opening up your chest. Palms will be up towards the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Big, heavy sigh through the mouth. Think about letting go of any remaining tension. Do that one more time, inhaling through the nose. Big, heavy sigh through the mouth. Bringing your awareness just gently back to your breath, noticing the gentle rise and fall of the belly. And then doing your best to let go of any remaining thoughts, any last bits of tension or discomfort in the body, just allowing yourself to surrender to your mat. Lowering your gaze or blinking your eyes closed, put a pause on the mind chatter. Let the ground support your body. Let your body and mind be at peace for a few moments, knowing that right now there is nothing else left for you to do, but just be here.